and this vlog is not going to stop until my current draft finishes. It's just not what I was prepared for. So trying to write this is now becoming more difficult because those are not things I'm good at. Some of the people in this situation would not be in this situation if it wasn't for her. And she's very aware of that right now. This is why I always overestimate stuff. I had just a little edit note in my head going, did we deliberately leave them somewhere so that they were safe? Hello, I'm Nikki Starr, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 11th of March and this vlog is not going to stop until my current draft finishes. I am very, very sick and tired <laughs> of this particular draft. I was supposed to be done in January. It is still going, so we are not going to stop the vlog until it finishes. By my estimates, I have about 17 to 20k left to go, but I do tend to speed up towards the end, so that might be different. We aren't going to get it all done this weekend. It is Saturday, and it's about two o'clock now that I'm recording this. I would like to ideally be done by the end of next weekend. So I'm setting myself like a week and a bit just to get this done, because it is now starting to annoy me that it's still here and it hasn't been finished yet. The other project that I've been working on in March is my romance book, which is nowhere near done. So that will be the focus for the rest of the month if I manage this. It has been a while since I did an update from the sofa. We're downstairs today. And what I'm gonna do is get proper cozy. I have a heating pad going in the microwave because it's cold today. I put on some blankets and we're gonna put like a fireplace on the TV. And this ha I did this last weekend. I did about an hour and a bit straight through, which is by far the longest sprint I've done on this book. So what I'm hoping is if I can get the atmosphere correct, <laughs> we have a better chance of getting this done. I'm not necessarily giving myself any kind of time limit for today because I don't know necessarily where that book will end. Usually I will speed up towards the end because I have the idea of the final act in my head quite significantly. It's usually very dramatic, it's usually very fun and I'm just running through it. Alternatively, every so often I'll put myself a massive paragraph which basically says something along the lines of skip this Nikki until we have an idea of what you actually want to be saying. <laughs> and often with physical fight scenes I will skip them because I have to be exactly in the right headspace to not make it very boring of and then that person threw a punch and then that person got out of the way of the punch and then that person kicked them. It can get quite formulaic when I do it the first time around so sometimes we'll come back later on those but we are very much towards the end of the book. One of the problems has been resolved, there are a number of other problems and an escape that has to happen. They are currently mostly surrounded by people they don't want to be surrounded by so we need to do whatever we can to get them out in the most dramatically appropriate way <laughs> and have her overcome all of the obstacles that are currently in front of her. So that is the current plan. I don't know how much of like b-roll of my life and stuff we'll put into this vlog but essentially this doesn't stop until the book stops. I am going to keep going and I keep saying it out loud because I have to keep telling myself that this is going to be happening. <laughs> I don't want to be in a situation where come April I'm still doing this and I also don't want to go into camp um, with like a little chunk left of a book. I want to dig my teeth into something in April. Don't know what yet because I am two months behind my plan so we're going to have to see if we have to rejig all the whole thing but for now we're just going to get this book done as much as we can. Let's get to it. It is 38 minutes later and I managed to do just shy of 2000. So about a 51 words per minute average going on at the moment. I've got into chapter 46 out of 51. So I think my estimates may have been significantly off and I am speeding up. In the beginning, most of my chapters have two, maybe three scenes. And now I've got a situation where most of them have like one. And I think maybe I'm gonna have to combine some things because what I had in my head is like, Oh, this will be a big, a big thing. I'm struggling to kind of bulk it out enough. 
to cover all of these scenes. I am also very much aware that I'm currently in my main character's head who is going to be physically struggling because we're at a point where she's used so much of her magic um her body is going to start struggling soon so it's going to be a lot harder to write from the point of view of someone who is coming down with like a headache and just not fully present so i'm gonna have, potentially have to switch more points of views than i was expecting it does happen quite a bit in this book where we shift to someone else that she's with which absolutely gives away who are the important people <laughs> who are potentially people that she's gonna either know for a long time or are going to stick with her for a long time or that are going to be some kind of reoccurring character in this series but that aside the current estimate is now saying that the book is going to be about 106,000 and I am at 94,000 I am not 100% sure but I feel like this is probably the longest book I've ever written and we're not finished yet and I was absolutely gobsmacked when I worked out that 120k would be maybe where this book would end up but I am definitely speeding up the way I tend to outline my third acts is a lot of very, very vague. So what was originally in my head, this kind of big, large scale thing happening and there's people moving through it and this chaos has become almost like um like a standoff and an ability for characters to like have a bit of a conversation about what's happening and add a little bit about the world in, which I'm not mad at. It's just not what I was prepared for. So trying to write this is now becoming more difficult because those are not things I'm good at those kind of standoffs. I'm not very good at fight scenes in general. I do need to improve them so there may come a point in the next few chapters, I think it's the next, no, chapter and a half until I start getting into the resolution, that I may end up paragraphing myself and say well this is supposed to happen and we move on and we come back in a later draft. But I've currently got 51 chapters in total planned, as I'm on 46 and I'm probably a good portion of the way through that one. So we've only got five chapters left to do. Originally my chapters are coming out about 2,000 each, they're coming out about a thousand, maybe thousand and a half now, so even less in some cases. We may push through this quicker than I was expecting, which I am again not mad at. If I come across any bits where I'm like, oh I'm not sure about this, I can come back and fix it. And I know in the beginning of the book I'm a lot more hesitant to leave myself problems but for some reason once I get to like a third act I'm like right I know that the rest of the book is mostly solid I can I can add in a proper fight scene towards the end and I can add a bit more magic and make them do all kind of cool things because at the moment my main character is fighting alongside a bunch of people with the same magic as her she's not well trained in her magic and hasn't really fought with a lot of people that have her magic so she is both focused on what's happening but also there's going to be moments of her catching glimpses of like what these other mages are doing or I need to have her completely single-minded and kind of like I don't care what everyone else is doing I have things to do I have people to get out of this in the safest way possible because she's brought a couple of people with her <laughs> some of the people in this situation would not be in this situation if it wasn't for her and she's very aware of that right now so it's kind of trying to make sure she can get everyone out alive and uh, carry on her revenge plot as much as possible. That's the plan. So my estimate is now saying, based on my current words per minute over the whole average of the project, um, I need maybe 13 more 20 minute sprints. And I managed to do closer to 40 then rather than 220s. So if I could get a couple more in today and then a few tomorrow, maybe get to the point where I have less than 10, maybe 8 would be good and then try and fit those in next week and see if we can get through them and if I do speed up then it will be a lot quicker because my average for the project at the moment I don't know why I did that it is an average my average for the project at the moment is about 47 words per minute which is what I'm using to calculate all my stuff so if I do keep going at like 50 or 51 it will also speed up the process I think we might be in a good place to actually finish this book soon which would be wonderful I'm gonna take a bit of a break though because my brain is now very tired <laughs> As I said last week I did more than this 40 minutes but I did this 40 minutes and it felt as if those words were just kind of flowing out of me and today it's about a little bit more like I'm pulling it out of me rather than it just working its way through. I am kind of forcing the focus a bit more than I probably have done in the past. I am very tempted even though it's three o'clock in the afternoon to go and make myself a coffee to see if the caffeine will increase the speed that I'm doing as well. But yeah I'm gonna have to think about what might be my April project if 
not continuing this. I'm gonna go sort myself up, maybe get a snack, a drink, maybe watch something. Because while I am trying to do as much writing as possible, I do also want to try and relax this weekend. Last weekend and this weekend, my partner has been out at LARPs over the weekend. So I've been on my own. Last weekend, I was recovering from quite a nasty bug that I'd had in the week. So it was mainly watching Supernatural, uh, attempting to feed myself <laughs> and just recovering in general. Whereas this weekend, I'm feeling much better and in general, kind of just want to get a load of stuff done. But also I need to, uh, to allow myself the space to relax a bit. Over the next few weeks, maybe months at this point, my job is going to get a little bit more hectic in my nine to five. So I need to allow myself some relaxation in the weekends, maybe. I know it's not a topic I'm very good at, so I'm not going to berate myself too hard if I just put a Supernatural episode on just now and uh, get myself a drink and then try and get a little bit more in later and try and update you guys when I do. I'm also aware, and this is something I've heard other people talk about before, quite often the vlogging takes away the energy from the writing. So if you don't get a verbal update from me today, I do apologise. If it's all B-roll from this point on, or even if it's just a situation where I now cut to tomorrow, I will update you in some way, shape or form with how today goes. But if it becomes a fight between vlogging and writing energy, I'm going to prioritise my writing energy and we'll, we'll deal the vlogs another time. Either way, I will catch up with you all a little bit later on. Good morning. It is now the 12th of March. I am updating a second day in a row, which is unusual for me. I didn't come back on to update you yesterday, but I did write a little bit more. So I did a 46 minute sprint that was somewhat interrupted by knocks at the door and some other things that were happening, but I managed to get 2,350 words from that. So in total yesterday, I did 4,291 words. I am also significantly speeding up. I am now three chapters away from the end and the estimate based on my current average per chapter is 102,000. So we've gone from 120 at one point to 102, which probably means that the act three might actually need some bulking to it. <laughs> but what that means is if that estimate is correct, which it doesn't seem like it is, because <laughs> it keeps changing. Based on the way I do things, um, I need about seven 20 minute sprints, potentially less than that, to finish this book. And there's three chapters. These three chapters are my wind down. Most of the actions happened. All of the flashback scenes have finished and resolved. For I do flashback scenes every fourth chapter. The main story is happening in the background. We're kind of seeing how my main character got to where she is, which I kind of want to continue for the rest of the books for every crew member that she picks up in this kind of space pirates crew so that we get real backstory on all of the characters partly because these characters aren't necessarily trusting of each other enough to fully tell anyone backstories yet <laughs> i don't want to be like book four before we know what the person she's picked up in book one actually has in their sort of back pocket and their their history and why they are the way they are but with three chapters and theoretically according to my spreadsheet we have three chapters and six thousand away from potentially finishing. As I said, I'm speeding up quite dramatically, so it might not need a full 6,000 either, but that's essentially having like 2,000 words per chapter for this last few, and I don't think they have that much in them. I'm also kind of wondering whether I need three chapters to finish this out. I can't entirely remember what I outlined for these three chapters, so I think the first thing I want to do um, this morning is go through what I'm expecting myself to write in these. I think we have two that resolve the interpersonal stuff that's going on and kind of come to a breathing space and then I think we have one like final chapter of my main character kind of reflecting on what's happened it may not need that but I've done it in most of the drafts I've done of these book series is nearly always having some kind of parallel of the, the captain of the ship just sitting on the ship going the fuck just happened <laughs> particularly she's managed what she was aiming to do in this book and she's overcome the fact that she doesn't have to do it all on her own and there's people that she can rely on and it's a very triumphant end of this book. I kind of want to give her that space to reflect through it. Whether or not I cut that and whether it's massively self-indulgent, we will work that out later. But for now, three chapters, potentially 6k away, and this book could be done. I'm not going to say that I'm going to finish this book today, but it is about 20 past 10 in the morning. I'm not expecting my partner back from the weekend away until four or five at the earliest, possibly later than that. I've got a good few hours outside of trying to do some tidying in the house, 
which I kind of want to get done. There is nothing else I have to do today. I would also like to get some reading done and just spend a few hours relaxing and maybe doing my week planning, but I can theoretically pick that up tomorrow. So we're going to see what my priority is. But if I can finish this book today, then the next few weeks my writing time can be completely solidly on my romance book and completely take me out of the headspace of this. I can let this book sit for, I'm hoping, two to three months, depending on what I do for my next main book draft, because what I'm trying to do is kind of run a main book and like a romance book alongside it, or like a supernatural YA book that I also write some bits and pieces, so I can while I'm writing, have an alternative option if my brain can't manage the really serious, really gory space pirates. We can go into some more sort of flowery romance books and like I can switch between the two. So I need to pick a new book to be my main book series for the next few months. Um, I think I know what I want to do, but I need to be 100% sure um, so I can spend some time over the next couple of weeks being like, right, is that what we're aiming for? Is that what we want to do? Because the plan originally was always to have a first book in the space pirate series and a standalone book in the world of the Space Pirate series, kind of both prepared before I throw myself into any querying or anything, uh, because I know people don't want to take the first book of a series necessarily. So having an option to switch over to the standalone if the first one doesn't query very well would be the ideal. So I think I'm going to switch between those two for a little while, but I need to have a real think about it and when I want to be picking this book up again and start editing it before I could edit it. <laughs> I need to actually finish writing it. We've gone for a much more chill vibe today, so I've got a lot of makeup on. I have had a coffee, and again, iced coffee as well, because I had a warm breakfast, so I was like, screw it. I know it's like three degrees in Celsius outside, but I really do want myself some iced coffee, so I did. I might go get myself an energy drink that I also have in the fridge a little bit later to try and keep my motivation going with caffeine, if nothing else. And I also have a bag of chocolate covered banana chips in the house which may be my reward when I get to like the end of a chapter or the end of a session I may end up giving myself uh, a little bit at the end of a sprint or something to keep myself going today that is the plan we're a lot closer than I did not expect to be this close um at the end of yesterday with how little I actually wrote I think I got through quite a few chapters on 4,000 words so it might be that I just need a couple of big sprints to get through the rest of this book I'm procrastinating it now aren't I I'm just sitting here chatting rather than actually doing it. I also need to do some checks on my seedlings. Uh, if you were here last summer, I started doing a lot of garden checking in. And I want to do some bit more in the spring when I've started putting them outside. But I've put a load of seedlings and seed trays. And um, I think they're doing well. I never really know when I'm supposed to then transfer them to anything else. But I've bought in. But I do have um, an order coming today with some bigger pots um, in case I want to transfer them. I'm not 100% sure. If anyone's a plant person, <laughs> uh, any tips whatsoever of knowing when or not to transfer seedlings into bigger pots before they go to the pot they're actually going to hopefully grow in, or whether I just go straight to the big one, I don't know. I don't want to kill them. I really don't want to kill them. <laughs> I got the seeds from my partner's parents, and they're doing well, I think. I don't want to I don't wanna break it. I don't, I don't know how to not kill things. <laughs> I have a couple of houseplants that I've managed to keep alive purely because... I learn about the concept of bottom feeding so I can leave them in water and I walk away and go oh I completely forgot about it in a couple of hours I can take them out of the water but actually just pouring water into plants I tend to either underdo it or overdo it and I never know which one. <laughs> there's a big there's a big thing in my head where I assume that all plants need the same treatment and I know that isn't the case but I can't seem to convince myself to remember what each of them need. I'll google it, I'll learn it, it will disappear out of my head. <laughs> we also have some potatoes that are starting to sprout out hopefully to go and put outside um in our little raised bed we've done this year we want to do some self-sufficient growing of some food and things a lot of it's food and herbs but we shall see what happens that's a complete tangent because even though i am very close very very close to being able to end this book and i know i was saying yesterday like i really want to end this book i'm over it i kind of want it done but then I, I was really into it yesterday and i was like do i do I want to leave these characters for a few months? I'm not convinced I do. I wonder if there's a part of it has been dragging this out a bit more because I don't really want to leave them. I'm thoroughly attached to these characters. I think I said before, I've been writing these characters for a long time now, like years upon years upon years. I got the idea, I'm going to assume five or six years ago, I can't entirely remember. And um, I've been just writing drafts of it. I did, as my mill wordy attempt, I wrote all the way through the series to try and get an idea of where I wanted things to land. And there's something about closing off a book with them and then like leaving them 
in space somewhere in my book for three months that feels wrong <laughs> maybe i just need to get over it and just do it anyway um <laughs> Last time I put the fire on the TV, like a fireplace kind of video, and then I put the B-roll on for, with you guys, so I put no sound on, which was an interesting thing. I don't usually do that, I usually have some kind of music playing. And then after the first sprint, I did a little bit of B-roll recording, I put some music on to try and keep me going, so that might be what happens today. Going to get myself under a blanket, because it is cold again, I might even put on a candle. We're going to attempt this, get myself a drink, get myself a candle on, and then see how far I can get and see if I can finish and I'll catch up at some point in the future <laughs> hopefully when I'm closer cuz I'm not in the mood but then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can heal it all if you're patient and so it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence So this is why I always overestimate stuff I am done I have finished the book I have done another 18 minute sprint So 42 minutes overall today I have done 2,328 words today the book is finished at 98,745 words and we are done. The new draft completely rewritten all the way through. There's bits and pieces I need to add, there's things I am aware of that are problems for the book, but the draft is done. <laughs> the draft is done. I can put it down, walk away from it and come back to it later. I definitely was expecting there to be more words than this coming at the end and this is why I've so the beginning of this clip, I never estimate things that well. I will nearly always overestimate how long something's going to take for me. And I tend to prefer the amount of words I think is going to be the final word count. But that I still, th I think is still the longest book I've written. It's got a lot of stuff in it. There's a lot of kind of subplots that need to be tied up more neatly than I managed. But the draft is there on the 12th of March, which means I now have the rest of the month to get my romance project in a good place. And then start something new in April. I genuinely, genuinely did not think I would finish this weekend. And if I did, I thought it would be hours upon hours. In total since yesterday, it's 131 minutes, so just over two hours. And I genuinely thought it was going to be pulling teeth and it would take us such a long time, but I seem to have sped through it. That may not be the old ideal situation, but editing Nikki can deal with that later when I go back through it and find all the issues and the holes. But overall, I am really happy with this draft. I quite often will get through the first draft and at the end of it just feel this kind of hollow feeling of well that wasn't good enough I feel good about it there were some really really good scenes or at least it felt like there were really good scenes while I was writing them there were some really good moments there's a lot more plot in here than there's been before I just need to hope that when I do come back to this project in three months maybe that I haven't I don't find a load of issues that I've completely glossed over right now but I feel good about it, which is wonderful. And I will take that. That feels like a win. I don't really know what to do now. I don't really want to keep doing anything too productive. Um, so this might be me signing off in terms of writing. Because I did say this vlog would stop when the book could stop. Probably won't pick up any of the romance book today or anything. I might just read and relax and tidy the house. If you've been with me since November when I started this book, um, I do really appreciate you coming along for the journey. And if you haven't seen the previous videos, pretty much every video that has got my face in the thumbnail um, since November has been about this book. So if you want to go back and watch the, I was gonna say progress or madness that the last few months has been, absolutely go back and have a look at all of that. If you want to see true madness, I think on my channel there's a Millwordy playlist which has me doing Millwordy a few years ago and attempting to get all the way through the whole Space Pirate series and really shitty zero drafts. That's quite a fun one to watch Descent Into Madness if you have a time to binge through some things. What I will probably try and do later in the month is some kind of April camp plan and let you guys know what I'm actually planning on doing, if anything. There is a large part of me that kind of just wants to take April and not do anything now, just because this book took a lot more out of me than I was expecting. But I don't think I'm going to be able to resist the, um, the writing itch for that long. I very rarely manage a month without doing some form of writing in there. I don't really know how what else to say. I feel like I still have things to say but it might just be this kind of shock that I always get when I finish a book of I wasn't expecting it to end. It has to end. They all have to end but it's just this thing of like I wasn't expecting it 
10. And I'm not convinced of the last two chapters. I feel like, because the whole point of the, the whole book series is my main character's revenge on people. I'm probably adding things in that I don't need to add in and maybe stay with her for a period of time. And she's trying to explain to them the point of what she's... And I don't know whether I can just start the next book with her explaining to them what we're aiming for. But it's definitely the very, very last scene. And she's kind of not able to sleep because of everything that's happened and is reflecting and kind of sitting somewhere else with the lights on so that, you know, she's not haunted by everything she's been going through and she can just process some of it. I actually quite liked that scene. I thought that scene would be the one to cut, but I think it's actually quite important. I did realise right at the end of that last scene that there's a kind of a, a character, although they're not a um, person, but they are kind of like a droid that comes with them, hasn't been mentioned for like probably the last quarter of the book. I should probably look into that. Where did I leave them? <laughs> I had just a little edit note in my head going, did we deliberately leave them somewhere so that they were safe? Did they come with? Where did I put them? <laughs> I've completely forgotten where that character was and wasn't supposed to be part of the plot. So we may have to go back and add them in, but that's not uncommon. There's quite a few occasions in the past where I've written a scene and then a little edit note at the bottom gone, oh shit, this person was supposed to be in the room. I've completely ignored that. So we need to go find this droid, find where we put him. But at the end, the droid is all curled up on, on, on the seat with her. So obviously he's fine. But where do I put him? Has he always been safe in the house? I don't know. I don't know. We also kind of, by the nature of the plot, had a couple of characters that weren't as involved in the last section. And I do kind of want to make more of a thing of them being like, okay, everyone's safe, everyone's safe. <laughs> Bits and pieces to deal with, but quite happy overall, I think. Or at least it's done. So I don't have to worry so much about it anymore. That's one thing. I don't have to feel this kind of, why aren't you writing vibe at the moment. As always, thank you so much for watching. I've been Nikki Star, and I will see you in the next one. Cross every surface, it makes me nervous. It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning. Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing. All our minds, we put the work in, we got some work, man.